¿Qué tal, amigo? ¿Cómo va? Uh, muy bien, pero poco español en inglés. Do you speak English? Yeah, speak Wicked, bro. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas, where are you from? I'm Jack. Jack, I'm Nick. Nice to meet you, bro. I was born in San Francisco. Yeah? In 1983. Epic, man. Yeah. Epic. But 25 years on the streets around the world. Amazing, bro. So that's much more where I'm from. Fucking hectic, bro. World citizen. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah. Epic, bro. How long you been in Barcelona? A uh, cumulative total of about six weeks. Oh, that's six weeks, dude. About three months, a little more in Catalonia, including my Barcelona time. Uh, and about a little over four months, all told, in España with a little bit of Portugal. Amazing, bro. You need to start learning some Spanish and Portuguese, brother. I'm longing for a Spanish-English yeah. dictionary. Amazing, longing bro. I can one. find you one. I'll get ah, you one. Thank you. You're welcome. Nicholas. Jack. Jack. Yes. That's yes, you just yes. hit my heart notes. Thank I'll you. I'll go find you one, bro. You, you. I guess you'll probably be here for, yeah, for the next yeah, few I'm days, bro. Set up for a bit. Yeah. Love it, man. Love it. Anyways, I've got a channel called Stay Weird, which is all okay, about perfect. being yourself yeah, and right. fucking doing yeah, this. Yeah. Well, we're doing that. Did How's, you see my bird? Yeah, I did. Does it? Does he follow you around? Oh, yeah. Watch, watch, watch. We'll do this. And what is your bird's name? Ava. Ava. See. Like Ave. Yeah, like E V E. But they say it a little bit more like instead of Eve or Eva, it's more like Ava here. Yeah. When they say Beautiful it, yeah. man. And how long how long have you had Ava? Oh, uh maybe five weeks. Five weeks. I don't know. My time's not I, right now I don't have a phone or a time. Piece, you have no so idea. You're I'm just in touch with life, eh, bro? Permanently. Incredible <laughs> stuff. What? <laughs> what brought this on, bro? What inspired this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you know, okay, let's try and make it an easier answer. Uh, let's say it like this as quick as I can. I ran away from home at 14 years old from a, a household full of, full of violence. Uh, and early on, I was a phenomenal athlete, but mostly for myself, skateboarding, long distance cycling, fixed gears, things like this. Uh, I was always an artist. I was a singer. Uh, I was a yogi since I was a child. One of the respites that God, in an enormously inclusive sense, <laughs> uh, gave me as a child was yoga. Yoga construction in my own room, understanding the lotus posture, understanding breathing techniques that were releasing DMT at eight years old, things like this. So really deep processes. And then when I really decided I was going to uh, go the distance with artistry, I, you know, was, per I was perturbed that, uh, you know, things like Vincent van Gogh had produced so much uh, and had seen very little of the abundance, uh, and yet his works go for, what, upwards of 50 million or nonsense anymore. So I determined to work as hard as I possibly could. Uh, I secreted a hundred, I, I secreted a thousand professional artworks around the world during the course of my travels uh, without any intermediary. Uh, almost every piece was, was made for the person that I had in mind during the duration of the creative process. Uh, my pieces are 6 to 14 hours, uh, and there was no middleman. It was, this is for you, I made this for you, like a prayer. So I've been laying trails of gunpowder to myself my whole life. Uh, I have 10,000 or more hours on the guitar. My last guitar was given as a donation at the monastery in Thailand where I stayed in May. So, you know. Incredible stuff, ready, right? Ready for, I'm calling out for a new guitar. I'm calling, my iPhone Pro Max was stolen here in Barcelona nine weeks ago. No good. Well, you know, yes. So you still have some technology with you? You still freaking bouncing I can, I can go. I That's can, how you're flying and stuff I've like that? I've done years with and without. Yep. Uh, but my, I'm staying in Barcelona right now uh, because it's where the Apple store is. So however a new phone comes to me, a new iPhone, I'll be able to download my whole phone back back to myself. That's also, I get donations from around the world. But right now it's just Mineta's Pequeñas, uh, eating basura, you know, but that's common practice for me. I've accumulated a total of about 11,000 meals from the trash can all told. So. Insane, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Insane, <laughs> man. So do you have an Instagram or something like that? I do. My Instagrams are always tiny because yeah. uh, my expressions are controversial. Uh, Instagram routinely kills my accounts. Fair enough. I just, you know, if I can, I set up another one. But Instagram is it's, it's a platform I actually worked extensively primarily 10 years ago. Just after the initial onset, I wrote several books. I had tens of thousands of posts, phenomenal posts. Uh, but uh, my sabbaticals away from the internet, uh, part of the thing that I did was erase myself from it altogether. Yep. Uh, so I know there's a way back machine, and eventually, if we care to, we can dig up all my 100%, own, all hey, my own archives. 100%, you know? 100%. <laughs> From all of this experience that you've had, what's the, what's the meaning of life for you? Oh, sure. Uh, well, 
what I do is I give myself, one of the ways that I learn a language is to give myself a medicine name in that language. And I have a few in Espanol. Uh, the first and foremost, and these, these, I'm saying this because it answers your question. First and foremost, el espíritu más grande está aquí para quedarse, which is the greatest spirit is here to stay. And that's, you know, a gift to myself to remain uh, and to progress, you know. Uh, beyond that, uh, like a trifecta, absolutamente feliz, first and foremost. Absolutely happy, hey, bro. Right. <laughs> Love that. Second is tranquiloquísimo. So that's <laughs> tranquilo, loco, isimo. Crazy, peaceful to the max, you know. Beautiful, brother. Uh, and third is mucho más serio. So, you know, there's still a very, very cutting edge, serious nature to myself. All sides of life, eh, bro? I guess you need that side to stay alive out here, don't you? Uh, I routinely uh, endure attempts on my life as a street person. Amazing. Uh, but I am, I am, it will part of You're still of it, living, bro? You're still alive? And look at my teeth. Beautiful, bro. I'm really good at what I do. You know, the last person who had a knife uh, uh, to me in Solo about seven weeks ago, uh, by the end of that encounter, he was kissing my hands and weeping in front of me because I just held my purity while he worked through his cycle and realized I had never instigated the entirety of any aspect of it. It was just a psychotic experience he was having. And, you know, to then be like someone weeping and holding, their, holding my hands and literally kissing them like the Pope. Insane. You know, that's bro. real. That's it real. Is. That's real Beautiful. work. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Where did you find Eva? So I started yeah. sleeping here at the church grounds. I don't know, this is all, it's my, my approximations are incredibly accurate, but they're what they can be. So about five weeks ago or something. And it came to me the first night, the first morning of the first night that I slept here. Beautiful, bro. <laughs> and this I, is incredible. Oh, I thanks, love this. Thanks, love this. <laughs> love this. All right, Nicholas, can you say stay weird, man? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> stay weird, man. <laughs> Oh, you! Fucking, 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 fucking you're rad, bro. 